first we'd like to show you a little clip which is kind of nasty but we got to see it anyway. Uh 他很不礼貌，有时候呢，在我们中国，有时候在国外做了很多去伤害中国人的事情。我们是什么人啊？中国人，妈妈，我跟你说，我们是中国人，要保护好中国，要爱惜中国，知道了吗？知道，所以呢
people with light skin, it means that they're, you know, like an official who sits in an office or someone who sits in the court of the emperor or, you know, a princess or something. So the lighter the skin, the higher up you are in Chinese society in the eyes of people. And that's why in China they have a big issue with black people, Indian people and brown people, etc. And I've seen this throughout the spectrum. When I used to work for a school that used to hire foreigners, they wouldn't allow me, and I was the guy who was going to interview foreigners, they wouldn't allow me to hire black people or Indian people, only allowed me to hire white people. It was disgusting, and I would try my best to get them in there. If, they, if schools hire black people, they give them a much lower salary, even if they're more qualified. Like, for instance, we had a situation where at this kindergarten that used to hire illegal teachers that I used to work for, we had a black guy who was from America who was an actual legitimate teacher who actually had credentials and history and like a, you know, experience teaching English. He was being paid less than some guy from Georgia. And I'm not talking about Georgia in America. I'm talking about Georgia, Russia, Georgia, who couldn't speak English because he was white. and His English was terrible. You just pissed off so many Georgians or Russia. Georgia. Yeah, well, you know what I mean? It's not the <laughs> oh same place, God. but you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's the closest I can come sure, up with. Sure, okay. Sure. All right. From that that georgia russia yeah. area georgia okay area, that's yeah. that's what i'm trying to say here this guy was being paid more than the black guy who was a proper legitimate native english speaker so you get the idea anyway we've seen a lot of this discrimination throughout china in so many different ways um so we've lined up just a couple of things we're going to go back to a bit of a classic from a couple of years ago sorry let me get past this terrible indoctrination i really hope that this um this young girl uh, doesn't have to put up with this crap and be t being taught discrimination and xenophobia for much longer. I hope her mother wakes up and teaches her that, you know, we're all humans and we should all respect each other. Anyway, here goes uh, our, our fun commercial. Let's just let it play. <laughs> Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's a classic, second. classic, classic. It's a okay, classic. why did I have to stop right what? there? <laughs> no, leave that okay. on, I dare you. No, 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 okay. Um, hang on a second. Now, can you explain to the people who are listening at home what happened actually in this advert? Yeah, this is an old one. Yeah. Uh, I covered this ages ago, right, when it came out. I was yeah. so I actually saw this in the wild yeah. before the racism thing came up because sure. I was living in China when this came out, and I saw this as a precursor. I think it was on QQ Video or something. Yeah, it says, uh, yeah, you know, Yoku. Yeah, it was Yoku, sorry. So Yoku's up there. Um, yeah. So anyway, it was running on precursor ads to videos on Chinese social media. Sure. And uh, I remember when this came out, it's literally got a black dude that the Chinese woman pushes. Very handsome black dude, yeah, by the way. <laughs> yeah, very handsome black dude. They push him down into, uh, this Chinese girl pushes him down into a washing machine. She, she tricks him. She's like, come, I'll yeah, give you a kiss. I'll give you a kiss. And she's like, no, get the hell in, in here. Puts in this chow bee, like laundry detergent, washes him, and he comes out as like a bright, sparkling, almost like translucent. A very, a very handsome. Whitewashed Asian dude. Yeah, very, Chinese dude. Well, you know. <laughs> like unnaturally white. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, oh my God, look, he's not dirty anymore, basically, is the implication. <laughs> but um, you, yeah. you know, the thing, the thing about this is, um, okay, first of all, obviously that's pretty racist. No I could, shit. I could, I could put that up there with being a fairly um very racist kind of thing but you know what makes it even worse okay that the cream yeah of the this crop. is the, uh, before i i saw people like oh my god i've already seen this yeah that's not why we brought this up we yeah. brought this up because for some comedic value as well yes, yeah we found the original it's actually not even its own ad no it's from so italy there's an italian ad we're gonna show it to you now they use the exact same music yeah so this chinese advert actually just copied yeah. the italian advert from like, I don't know, the 80s or 90s or something, to a T. Let's just play it for you so you can see for yourself. 
零八零零五零八六。Okay, look. I mean, one might argue that that's almost as bad, but it's okay. I because mean,、mm, if you if you turn a white guy into a black guy, it's not racist. Because remember, like you know, you no, 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 no. That's 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 a. I think I that's a bad take. Do you know why? why? Because the Chinese ad, and I'm not trying to be SJW here. Yeah. The Chinese ad is implying that black people are dirty, and you're washing, a, you're using laundry detergent, which、yeah. is soap,、yeah. to wash away black. Also, you don't use soap to add color no, no. to something. No, no. Well, I mean, that's the thing. The the advert for this one is because it's like a. Whatever is bleach for colors or something. Right. That's why it says well, it's, it's colored.、Wash. Colored is better. Which、right. I don't know, man. That is, that might be stepping over some boundaries. I think we're kind of in like a very weird kind of. I think、way. it's I think it's also kind of tasteless, but、it's、I think tasteless, this the Chinese、yeah. one's way worse because、yeah. you're implying that people are dirty.、Sure. This is not. No one's dirty in this advert. No. You know what I mean? No. And it, the thing is, it's hilarious how it's like. It's almost frame by frame the same. Like that's the that's the, the worst part of this, this is this rip. It's this, the rip off. It's like a weedy little、um, white dude comes in there, okay, and he he's obviously looking for some、he's、action. Like, hey, paisan. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna lift the spaghetti on the stove, you know, something like that. <laughs> okay, and the next minute,、uh, she comes along. She's like, come here, I'll give you like suggestive. I'll give you a kiss type thing, just like the Chinese girl did to the black guy.、Mm. And then she shoves him the deter like the washing machine. And then out comes this really like muscular black man,、uh, which is kind of funny. Both are bad.、They're、I'm gonna say the、bad. Chinese one's worse because it implies dirtiness. Sure, that's that's what that's my take. Well, you know, I think the the reason it's worse is because、um, they think it's acceptable, and in fact, it is acceptable because that advert only started to get pushed back when like the foreign press picked it up and like, oh my god, how can you do that? I gotta you know say, I, mean? I was the first person to cover yes, that. Yes, and you were. Yes, and、um, um, I actually,、great. yeah, I interviewed a black friend of mine, which I told you to put in the media. <laughs> Sorry, pack, man. I knew you weren't gonna do yeah, that. I, we have a big problem with、yeah. media packs because we tell each other to do things, and、it's、sometimes we last minute. Sorry about that. We miss that. it out. But anyway, I interviewed my friend from Ghana about that,、yeah. and he kind of broke down more not not so much about this ad, but about his personal experience teaching as a black person in China. Yeah, and he almost broke down in tears because.、Mm. You could tell it's not something he talks about very often. Sure. And it's one thing if you like go on about, oh, it's so racist, but you continue to live there. But he held it inside all the time. Yeah. And his whole thing was like, at first you don't care that the students say that you look like poop and you have、yeah. shit skin and stuff like that. I mean, at first you just kind of internalize. Yeah, try to like wash. Yeah, wash, wash you off. off you.、Yeah. He's like, that's fine. But then when you see. That it's not from the children; that that's from the parents. Just like that clip you you yeah, played. Girl, yeah. This is not an outlier event, guys. Because、no. the, my friend was like almost in tears because he was talking about how he would hear the parents talk about him right outside the classroom and say, "Why can't we have a white teacher?" Then the the principal would say, "Well, we only have Russians; they don't speak very good English." And this guy from Ghana, my friend Charles, he spoke fine. His English、yeah. is fine, much better than the Russian teacher, sure, right? Sure. Um, and they're like, I don't care. I'd rather have a white person teach my child,、sure. and that's got a fucking sting, dude. dude. Still, remember, just okay. Believe it or not,、uh, we have black friends. <laughs> no、okay? shit. Now it's not not a defense to say, oh, I'm not racist or something. I got black friends. None of that nonsense. We actually have black friends. I mean, I, I grew up as a minority. In, I'm honestly in a black most country, of you know? yeah. I, I, I've not to mention where I、friends. grew up, but no.、Yeah. The big the biggest point is how many black friends we made in China. Yes, huge amount because you know foreigners tend to stick together. Yeah. We went to, you know, remember we went to our, our black one of our one of our black friends' weddings, Elvis. It was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, that was good. We、time. had so much fun. I、But、talked to him the other then, day, actually. And he was at your wedding, right? And、yeah. when he was at your wedding, just going up and down in the lifts and stuff, people were saying racist remarks. This guy's not to mention my people in my family. Yeah, I shouldn't say family. People that my family invited to my wedding,、yeah. talking shit about my black friends when they were there. It was awful, and I had to keep defending him. Yeah, well, I mean, here's the thing, though. It's like. His Chinese was better than ours. Yeah, yeah, he's、okay? absolutely flawless. And so he's listening to this. We can all understand what these people in the same <laughs> elevator were saying to him. And I remember because we're all <laughs> really lost, drunk. He lost it. It was so funny. 
he turned around and he went to like there was this kind of middle-aged guy who'd been talking shit about him with his He's really bad stuff there. like you know the usual thing dirty, yeah, dirty black african yeah, type these, things these yeah. black people are so ugly why do they come to our china like yeah so he turned around to the guy and he's like ni hao ni hao you know which is hello hello and the guy just like didn't report, respond to him he's like ni hao he didn't respond he said fuck you fuck you <laughs> <laughs> until he left the hell of it. Yeah. And the guy uh, was just like in the corner, you know? Yeah. But it's... We've had a lot of those moments where we understand, we hold our tongue because mm. people are talking shit. Look, all foreigners in China understand they the do. discrimination issue, but it's usually, uh, and I got to say it's this much for white people, for people, it's usually in a positive way. Yeah. At least yeah. in the beginning, because people want to take photos with you. They'll be point kids will be pointing at you, foreigner, look, why guaran, why guaran, you know, this kind of thing. Mm. All foreigners eventually get kind of annoyed with this you get to a point where you're like yeah okay i'm a foreigner great thanks for pointing that out it's amazing what an amazing insight you have you know as you walk down the street but imagine all of that stuff instead of just saying look a foreigner look a foreigner imagine it was all negative like racial slurs look at this guy's ugly look he looks like a monkey that kind of thing because walking around with my black friends in china when we walk around with our black friends, we hear that from the local pop populace just being shouted you know, out. You know what was crazy is that I had a, a black roommate in Taiwan. Yeah. He was a, a great friend of mine, but he, his whole thing was he was vegan. Yeah. Right? So it was much easier to be vegan in Taiwan. Yeah. So we'd go out and he, I would tell him, we'd go out to like these restaurants or whatever and like split pass and, and he would tell me about like maybe sometimes that he felt like it was a little weird that people were kind of, they weren't saying shit, like bad shit about him, but they were like a little bit weird towards him. And I was like, bro, you got to go to China at some point. Yeah. And I was telling him stories about that and he was like, holy shit. Like, I don't know how people deal with it, but I'm, I got to tell you, he was an African-American. Yeah. The Africans that go to China and put up with this shit, they put up with it on a daily basis. Yeah, it's very bad. It's bad. Yeah, you know, anyway. like, the, never mind the fact that, you know, we had a lot of black friends and so on. I mean, I am more African than Michael Jordan, okay? That's just a fact. He wasn't born in Africa. He didn't grow up there. Okay, I'm pulling on my African roots here. I got family there. It's my place, you know? So I can talk about Africa. I know what it's like to be an African living in China. Uh, I don't know what it's like being a black, but I can tell because I'm with them, so I can tell what yeah. happens. It's yeah. terrible. Anyway, guys... Let's move on a little bit here. We all remember the McDonald's in China that, um, you know, had a poster up there that was being handed by this lovely um, assistant to black people to say, we've been informed that from now on, black people are not allowed to enter the restaurant. For the sake of your health, uh, consciously notify the local police for medical isolation. Please understand the inconvenience cause. And then the police telephone number. So... Basically, what they're saying is, because um, remember, there was that whole time where they were blaming black people for COVID, mm -hmm. blaming black people uh, or foreigners in general for COVID. But to say no black people allowed in a restaurant and at the same time report yourself to the police to be isolated, it's kind of racist. Right. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, I would agree I, with that. No I, shit. I think a no blacks allowed sign in 2020 is not okay. No shit. I mean, <laughs> so, you know, when we talk about these movie posters which are coming up we got more than for you when we talk about them we're talking about it for a reason there's this horrible situation in china where racism and like very blunt and very high level racism is still acceptable and it's still out there in the wild all the time like mainstream it's like the government and the police and all of them they are the ones who Enforcing instruct it. and enforce this kind of stuff and instruct the restaurants to do this kind of thing or kick the, uh, them all out on the street. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we had a lot of nonsense with that. So, uh, yeah, it's not looking very good on that front. Let's move on. Sorry. Yeah, here we can actually see the posters. With the Black Panther movie, okay, I was still in China. I actually saw the movie in China, okay? And when I went to the cinema, I saw not this poster we're seeing here, but I did see this particular poster in the metro. I'm going to get us out of here. What you see on the left is the Chinese poster, okay? What you see on the right is the, um, uh, I guess, English poster that's used around the world. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to blame Hollywood for this, okay? What they do is they basically put together a pack of posters to be used, all right? What they do is they very, very well know what the market is like in places like China. So they prepare something that they know is probably going to be a bit friendlier for China. What you can see again, 
The one that's the one I saw in the cinema on the left with the mask on. That's the one that was when I went to go watch uh, Black Panther. I thought that was just the official poster. You've got your main uh, actor, but he's wearing his mask, so you can't see his face. That is the one. Now, the one where he's not wearing his mask was also available for the Chinese market. There is a Chinese version of this poster that we all know that we all everyone saw in the West, right? There is, but that's not the one that was used. That's not the one that I saw. So you see, it's kind of like Hollywood is pandering to the marketing of China. They put, they basically put together, okay, let's see. We know China might want to use this one. So we're just going to throw that in the pack and, you know, see what happens. And so that's what we saw. And we saw that with the Star Wars poster as well. We talked about that last week. Now, this one is definitive. There was one version that was used in the cinemas in China, and it was the one on, uh, I guess, if you're looking at it, the left-hand side of your screen. The... One of the main actors, okay, the black actor who played, was it Finn? Is it Finn? Finn, Finn? Yeah. Finn? If you see in the international release of the poster, he's up there. He's prominent. You he's can see He's one of the him. main characters. He is one of the main. It <laughs> starts with him. It's, it's, it's like his story. <laughs> yeah. So he's really big in that one. He's a one. great character, too. And then you can see Han Solo and Princess Leia and all that. They're kind of small. They're actually smaller than Finn in this one. But in the Chinese version of the poster, not only did they make Han Solo and Leia bigger... They also got rid of Chewbacca. I can't see Chewbacca because, you know, they were probably like, they hate hairy, what, is scary this? Beasts. what is this ape man? Yeah. Get him away. They took the robot, that BB-8 8 or whatever, yeah. made him a prominent character, put him in front, okay? Yeah. Made him huge and then took the Finn character and, and made him so small that... I didn't even notice you him. You can't even notice no. him he at a glance. He blends into the blue. Yeah, he's just part of like, he may as well be a, one of those stormtroopers down there or something. Yeah. A short while ago on my channel, I Bruno interviewed... Bar uh, this gent from Ghana, and he uh, had a, a very unfortunate situation. I'll let him explain quickly what he was saying, and then I'll tell you what happened. First started, and then there was this more treatment of Africans in Guangzhou. So yeah. I spoke about it. Yeah. And then there was this day where um, I saw the news on our WeChat platform. You know, like in, in, in China, we use WeChat more often. So... The Ghanaian society has a WeChat platform. So I was just scrolling through their WeChat group, and then they said, I mean, what was happening that day is a Ghanaian boy died, and this is what happened. They took him to four different hospitals in Chendao. In Chendao, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they took him to the first hospital. They said they, they, they don't know what is wrong with the guy so they can help but like i mean of course you wouldn't know on until you find out so they yeah. rejected they went to the second hospital that the man said that he was a chinese herbal doctor he does only chinese herbal medicine so he okay. cannot help this guy they went to the third one they said no and they went to the fourth one and then the fourth one called another hospital and told the hospital that this is what was going on. So the hospital said, okay, come over. So on the way to that fifth hospital, the guy passed out. He died. Okay, so, you know, what happened was, it was in Qingdao, a guy got really sick. This Ghanaian guy got really, really sick and they tried to take him to a hospital and they re refused entry. Then they tried to take him to a TCM clinic, which was their mistake. They were just looking for signs that said like hospital or something. And, you know, you see the medical sign. TCM doctor didn't want to help them, told them to get out of there. Then they went to an actual hospital. They said, no, you have to go to another hospital. And then the guy died on the way to the fourth hospital. And, you know, that was a very unfortunate story. This guy posted the story on Facebook and was really mad about it, of course. And then all it, what it ended up doing died. was, yeah, this member of his Ghanaian community died because he was refused to treatment at all these different clinics and hospitals. So what happened? The police actually deported him for making a, a post <laughs> I mean, on that's Facebook. That's just like salt in the wound. I know. Uh, like, I don't mean to laugh. It's just, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. You could watch his whole story on my channel. It's ridiculous what they did. They actually, the police came and lived in his house with his wife and his yeah, child. Yeah, they, they lived in the smoked cigarettes yeah, with his baby, the baby there. there and, stuff. and actually like, they had like, I don't know, 20 of them because they were scared of him because he was a black yeah, man. Yeah. And they lived in his house until he was deported, so he couldn't go anywhere. They like had to make or say sure. anything. Yeah, yeah, and then they got him on the plane, got him out. Um, here we have black people being denied into uh, a supermarket. <laughs> 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 
This one in, that you're seeing in the background was actually particularly bad as well because um, the, the black woman was with her white foreigner friend, this blonde woman you can see in the background now, and they would let her in. They said that the white woman could go in. That was fine, yeah. Yeah, but the black woman was not allowed to go. That's why the white woman was there arguing with them, like, why am I allowed to go in, but my black friend's not allowed to go in, right? Yes. And at the end of the day, they were turned away. So now look, just to show you that, you know, it's <laughs> some people know that this is an issue. Not all Chinese people are racist, okay? That's not what I'm trying to say. That's not what we're trying to imply here. But racism is an accepted part of Chinese society. That's the issue. That's the big issue here, okay? Luckily, you do get people who are actually, of course, very level-headed. But, of course, they cannot say that. They have to hide their face when they say this kind of thing. So we've got a very, very um, level-headed woman here going to tell you a little thing here. Chinese woman. Chinese woman, yes. Uh, 在中国的教育以及中国的教材里边 Okay, so what she was saying is that she's she's upset by this discrimination, but she explains that when you're you know growing up in school in china they don't actually teach you about discrimination and this kind of thing they don't they don't teach you to be sensitive about it it's not even part of the curriculum you know um it's just part of chinese society is to be honest it's a very discriminatory society people are discriminated on depending on where they come from in china depending on their um yeah i was gonna level. say it's not exclusive to even race um mm -hmm. my big issue with chinese society one of them is that it's not the individualism clash of cultures, you know, individualism versus collectivism, but that is a symptom of something that creates massive problems. And that's because people, like what she said, people are judged as a group based on the actions of one individual. Yes. And that is celebrated and that is pushed by the Chinese government. It's, it'd be one thing if it was like some old person, but the government pushes this idea that it, America, the president says something, then that's the fault of every American. So then now it's time to be mean to American people right. in China. It's really bad. And again, it's, it's also that you saw it in Wuhan. Mm. When the outbreak started in Wuhan, you know, you like to see this Chinese national unity thing they keep pushing, but everyone is going after Wuhan because the government was blaming the Wuhan government, which in turn people were calling people the Wuhan virus in, yeah, China. in China. Chinese people were saying that. Yeah. And that's just the way it works. It's this herd mentality. It's kind of like a, a swarm. Well, I, it's awful that this young woman has to disguise her identity sure. to complain about discrimination in her own country. You know, that's how bad it is. And if you look at some of the things that she was sharing out, like this this particular quote from a like a, a, a well-known Weibo poster who said, and I quote, these are not my words. I hate two kinds of people. Again, not my words. One is racist. Again, not my words. The other is black. OK, that's not a very good thing to say. OK, that's a pretty racist thing to say if, in my book. I would yes. classify that as racist. Would, would as you? Well, of course. Yeah. And of course. The whole throwing foreigners in the trash cans thing and showing them throwing a black man into a trash can. I, I would say that that's also pretty racist. You know, I yes. don't know about you. Would you classify <laughs> yeah, that as yes, racist? I would. I'm just I got to back this up because, you know, these <laughs> days it's kind of hard to tell what people think are racist because it seems like if you use a teaspoon in the wrong way, you're racist these sure, days. Sure. But I would classify this as real racism, right. as in the, the boogeyman that people are always talking about. This is actually it over here. That's what I'm trying yeah, to say. And right in your face. Yeah. So anyway, um, she said she's speechless about those, and I agree with her. It's it's awful, and you know I feel um, I feel very very happy that she was able to express herself, and I feel very sad that she had to hide her identity to do so. Imagine having to hide your identity to say something so 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 on point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so accurate. Imagine if you wanted to do a Black Lives Matter march, but you had to hide your identity. Right. Right. 
you yeah. know, and wear a black mask and, you know. Right. That's kind I of... wouldn't show you in China then. <laughs> yeah, anyway, let's see what's going on. You'd have to wear a mask for them to show you in China. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you would. Because they don't like black people in. Oh, he just said it in Chinese. We don't like black people. My boss told me not to let black people. He said it. Yeah, and of course, we've got the, the culturally insensitive black face that China does repeatedly because this was the first time they, they that's a chinese woman with yeah. a fake fat ass actually it's a, up isn't it a chinese a man. chinese man sorry it's a chinese man that's dressed not up... a that's not an african <laughs> no, person no. dressed up in blackface and who has a monkey as an assistant yeah i don't and know like a massive fat ass yeah they... oh, anyway we thought we'd lighten the mood a bit so this is unrelated this. totally <laughs> totally unrelated <laughs> no, no we didn't put this in because he's black no but in the usa <laughs> morgan freeman in his china he's just morgan <laughs> that's a great meme yeah, these are like, like the, the normies are coming out with some great china memes yeah, these days yeah, absolutely it's good stuff See, racism is a problem in china okay not only from our own personal experiences but by actual video evidence uh, testimonials from African people living in China that we know, like just there's no way that you can say that China doesn't have a problem with racism. Mm. So we have to keep track of that and realize that if we want these kind of things to change, we have to talk about it. You know. We're going to be looking at these weird and wonderful things you can buy on the Chinese internet. <laughs> Dream core, weird core, eyes with wings. I'm a creative, funny ladies licking red popsicle. 3D gravity nightlight, gravity jumping cone, butt whistle noise sound, funny joke, gadget prank, stinks, bomb smelly stinky gas, crap. <laughs> it's very poor taste. It's the sink, <laughs> sinking Titanic water slide. Of this. <laughs> what on earth is that? How getting? about instead of testosterone, you take ter testosterone? <laughs> what? I mean, if you if you're like a clown and you have a house, <laughs> you, you, you never buy, turn off your work mode. Yeah, you just invite people over to your house. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> My life.